So I have some very serious, sincere, I don't understand what the fuck is happening, questions about veganism. So, as per usual, I'm going to read the Wikipedia uh, article. I'm probably just going to get into the first paragraph because there's enough there that I'm going to have lots of questions. Veganism is the practice of abstaining from the use of animal products, particularly in diet and an associated philosophy that rejects the commodity status of animals. It sounds nice, but you don't. An individual who follows the diet or philosophy is known as a vegan. Distinctions may be made between several categories of veganism. Dietary vegans, also known as strict vegetarians, refrain from consuming meat, eggs, dairy products, and any other animal-derived substances. So this is where I have a problem. Animal-derived substances. So, like, one of the things... <laughs> how I kind of first became aware of veganism was... Uh, somebody, um, this girl telling me that eating honey was, like, unethical. Because it wasn't made for us. It was made for, it was made by and for the bees. And, like, I live in the United States where our honeybees are imported imported livestock so what it's made for humans <laughs> the bees that you're worrying about are livestock also Whenever, okay, so you you refrain from eating meat, eggs, dairy products, and any other animal-derived substances, allegedly. So this contains, this includes things like honey. Sure, and, you know, maybe certain food colorings because it has, like, crushed up bugs. Things like that. <clears throat> okay, what about, hear me out now, what about any fruit... Because, guess what? Guess what happened? How does that fruit become a fruit? A bug came along, and it pollinated the motherfucker. And the reason that it turned into a fruit is because that pollination was successful. An animal came by. That is an animal-derived substance. Because, without the animal, no pollination would have occurred. And this is why people freak out about the bees dying. Because you can't go around and manually pollinate all of the flowers at an industrial scale. You can't do it. You need bugs. Also, where do you think the fertilizer comes from? So if we're using synthetic fertilizers, that's going to have maybe nitrogen or something. But what about phosphorus? What about magnesium? What about other, other elements that you need in your fertilizer? That's going to be coming from some sort of animal product most of the time. So you, you don't. You don't refrain from consuming animal-derived substances. You can't. It's not possible. Anyway, an ethical vegan is someone who not only follows a plant-based diet, but extends the philosophy into other areas of their lives, opposes the use of animals for any purpose. Except pet. I've known ethical vegans who have pets. and tries to avoid any cruelty and exploitation of all animals, including humans. Where do you think your clothes come from? Unless you're, like, manufacturing your own uh, fiber, 
spinning that into your own thread and yarn and weaving that into your own clothes, there is some sort of exploitation, certainly of humans, involved there at some level. Another term is environmental veganism, which refers to the avoidance of animal products on the premise that the industrial farming of animals is environmentally damaging and unsustainable. Yeah, that's probably real. That one I have far less. Um, yeah, so this is just an avoidance. Yeah. I feel like that's a lot... It's not a full-on refrain, maybe, but an avoidance. I feel like there's a difference there. This might just be the way that they're wording it, um, but... I don't get it. Like, there's... It quickly gets into levels of just, what? You're not making any sense. I've also seen vegans um, promote eating of, like, oysters and things. Which, like, I don't give a shit, I eat oysters. But it's, it's just, I don't understand what it is you think you're looking at. Because... Plants... You damage a plant, right? Like, you, you cut off part of a plant's body. And it will react. It starts reacting immediately. Is that not a pain response? Is that not cruelty? At, how do you know? At what level are you going to claim that that's not cruelty? How, like, what? Where's the line? And why are you drawing the line there? There's nothing here that tells me what the line is. And I've had vegans tell me that it's, oh, anything with a central nervous system. Well, but the example I just gave, plants don't have a central nervous system, but as soon as you injure them, they respond. The entire organism can sometimes respond to a relatively minor wound. The way that it, the way that it uh, maybe secretes sap or like bleeds out, or like the way that the the foliage around it um, responds to it, or you know, it'll release chemicals into the air to as like a warning, or like, all kinds of shit are happening here. Just because it doesn't have a central nervous system doesn't mean that injuring it is not a cruel act. And to state that, like, this is more ethical, is it? Is it? I, I don't, I just don't get it. And I've heard the arguments from vegans, and I still don't get it, right? Like, how can you claim that a bee-pollinated fruit is vegan when you... The honey, which is another product from that same exact event, is not vegan. You seem to be picking and choosing here and then judging everybody else for not agreeing with you, right? There's something here, there's some axioms here that I'm not catching. I don't, I don't see it. And I don't think you know them either. I don't think you can make them explicit because I don't think you know about them either. There's paradoxes here, there's problems here at every level. And I think importantly, Right, I eat meat, I consume meat, I consume eggs, I consume dairy products. Um, I don't buy honey because it's too expensive. Um, but if I, if I had a beehive, I would totally <laughs> consume the honey that they make. And their activity, pollinating my flowers, would produce fruits like tomatoes and grapes and beans and right all kinds of stuff that I do grow and the reason I'm able to grow them on my land in the Sonoran Desert is because I keep quail and rabbits 
and the waste that they produce fertilizes the soil very, very effectively, and occasionally I'll eat them. So the fact that I have animals around enhances my ability to produce produce. And that's also how it works around the world. <laughs> oh, like the guano wars. Look, look into the that. Into, look into the the guano age. Whatever. What was it called? Hang on. I'm gonna look this up. Guano. I, there were wars associated with it. Guano war. South America. Yeah, the guano wars. That is the thing. Chincha Island Wars. Yeah, look that up. Look that up. Wars fought over bird shit. So that we could grow more food. And that is actually what spawned the current... The population growth that gave us the current world that we're living in. That allows you to have this, this attitude. For the most part. For the most part. For the most part, veganism, it, the history of it, it really only kind of took off relatively recently. Because previously, people couldn't afford to reject the commodity status of animals. Do you want to live? This is how we make food, at every level. If it's fruit, if it's animal, if it's animal-derived, it's, it's all of it involves animals at some level. I, I like I don't get it. I don't see how you can claim that you refrain from animal derived substances because an apple is animal derived. There's a bee involved or something pollinating that apple. <laughs> you can't escape it. <laughs>